Marhaba ya shabab uh, Welcome to a brand new video um, In the last video we um, added the unit test for the task repository and now we finished with the task repository um, Yeah, now we, as I promised, we will now go on for the task service to create some tasks uh, tests and alt enter create test okay okay set up set up before and okay as you can see we have now um, some tests here uh, we have now the test uh, basically what we are going to do is okay we need an annotation, uh, extend with, and we'll use the mock okay extensions, mock k okay. extension, dot dot class, should be good by now, okay. And we will use, of course, the, mm, we need some kind of, the, we will, of course, use the task servers, and, but for the task service, as you might know, we need a uh, dependency, which is the repository. So um, with mock k, you just write relaxed mock, relaxed mock k, and say private. This is just a lazy, this is just a lazy um, kind of um, in initialization of the repository class mock uh, repo C Tory task repository yes this is good and now we need to inject this mock here inject mocks annotation private late in it var object under test which is not task service, that's just task service. So this should be good by now. Then for testing purposes, I will we will need a local um, a task instance. So private var task is equal to task. Okay. And again, a late init var private late init var create create request Okay, nice. This works by now, but as we using here this annotation stuff, uh, we need to also initialize mock k annotations with mock mock k annotations. Say dot init and say this. Uh, now we can just initialize our task create request also here. Create request, just create task create request. Enter just the ID with the null. This is just test as description. This reminder set. False. This task open should be all the false. Okay, nice. Then create it on. Okay, and the 
thing I need to import it. Import class. Okay, nice. And priority, of course, needs to also be set. Okay. T. Set it to low. And this needs all of course to be imported. Import. And as I can remember, we don't have an ID. So this is so far so good right now. And yeah, this will the setup will run for each test. And now I I think we can move on to uh, write the first test, just maybe just compare the size of the list. And let's say again for every test we need the test annotation, fun. Uh, okay, import test. Um, okay. Let's say when all tasks get fetched, then check if the given size is correct. Okay, now we can uh, start again with given. Um, this we call expected tasks expected tasks is a list of, of tasks say this is a list of Okay, so task and task and okay. Then say when. Okay, now we have our as expected tasks. Good, local variable, then when. And now we have to, when we call or find all with our repository, we have to mock it somehow. And uh, we can do it with Mokke. Mokke has the method every. So every time we call mock repository. Basically our service class is calling when when get all tasks, as you can see in our service class, repository find all is called. And this is something we have to mock mock rep or mock repository here, then find all. And just wait, I need to import it this. Find all uh, should return uh, returns when this is called. Then we basically we say what should be mocked. The mock return should be, and this would be our local variable here. Expect tasks, and this uh, needs to be to we have to. We have to use the Kotlin um, methods for it to make it a mutable list. Uh, yeah, nice. There were some errors. This is just a function which the Kotlin, Kotlin programming language uh, offers us. As you can see, is it is inside the collections. And I think it's also a pretty huge class, but okay, it's loading now. It's, Slowing us down. So if you want to just click command and then you can go inside and look look it up. And now what we are doing is our um, setting a new local variable for actual tasks. Uh, this will be of course a list. This will be this time a list of. Actual, okay. 
this will be a list of task TTO and we call our object under test and we have to import it of course get all tasks nice and then our then and say assert that assert that now we can now we have to first import it again what no not, ah, I have a type in here. Okay. Now it should. Okay. This should be now import it, and now we can check our uh, list sizes. This list size should be the same as this list size here. And here, just command and P, our actual value should come here. The actual value is this one, actual tasks. Actual tasks. Uh, both size, of course. Is equal to expected tasks that size uh, yeah okay we can run it now and I hope this will not take too long otherwise I will just I think I will just stop the video right now and see you in the next one so stay tuned